Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming. It really means a lot. My name is Trinity Silva and I'm 16 years old. I just want to thank Reach for inviting me here to speak. It's an absolute honor to be here tonight and to show my appreciation and thanks to Reach's autism program and the people in it. I've had many different therapists over the years um, from when I was three years old, including Jeanette, Monisha, and Robin. I just want to apologize to them because I know I wasn't the easiest kid to work with. <laughs> but I'm sure that they've learned a whole ton from me and I learned a lot from them. And um, I really do appreciate what they've done for me and just sticking by my side all the way through this very challenging, overwhelming, yet exciting, fun, and interesting adventure. The REACH Autism Program and all the therapists who worked with me have truly shaped me and molded me into the person I am today, and I'll always be forever grateful for that. There were many challenges that I've had to overcome and still am overcoming today. I used to flap my arms, spin around, and throw tantrums a lot when I was young because I had really no other way to express myself since I had a very limited vocabulary when I was younger. However, as soon as I started to talk more, my vocabulary expanded. It became so much easier for me to express myself with words than rather getting frustrated or um, getting happy and having the need to flap my arms. Urges I had, such as spinning, flapping my arms, and throwing tantrums, became pretty much extinct. Maybe except for the tantrums part. I can still throw a good tantrum if I want to, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> Despite getting over these challenges I had, life always throws curveballs and always puts new challenges in front of me to face. But I really like these challenges because challenges can only make you stronger, and challenges in your life only mean that something good is going to happen which I've learned from mentoring at REACH. I still get picked up, oh sorry, I messed up. Despite getting over these challenges I've had, life always throws curveballs and always puts new challenges in front of me to face. But I really like these because challenges can only make you stronger and challenges in your life only mean something good is going to happen. Which, oh, man, I'm <laughs> I still get picked on in school by people who don't really know me or understand me, but that's okay. I don't need those kind of, the kinds of people in my life because they'll only drag me down when my goal is to go up and only up, which I have learned from my family over the years. I still have a bit of difficulty with different types of things. To this day, I still get told that I have absolutely no filter, which I admit is true. <laughs> you can ask anyone that knows me and they'll tell you so. Um, I even had this problem when I was younger too, but I'm not as bad now. Well, I, I hope not. <laughs> uh, at least I speak my mind and I'm real. And um, I still get con like described as awkward, quirky, clumsy, however you want to describe me as. You know what though? That's okay. It's okay for me to be myself. And that's all I need to do. I'm happy to be unique and original instead of a cookie cutter, that's how my mom describes it, kind of person who just tries to make themselves just like everybody else to fit in and feel a part of a group or something like that. One thing that is incredibly important to me is for people to be themselves no matter what. I believe that everyone is unique in their own ways and should embrace themselves, which this whole experience with living with autism has taught me. Autism doesn't define me. However, it will, it will and always be a part of who I am. It's not a weakness to have this so-called disability. It can be a strength and almost like a blessing and privilege to have it. You get to see things, feel things, and experience things in a whole different way, which I think is absolutely amazing and just so exhilarating. I'm proud to stand out and be my own person and just to stand out. I'd like, to re I'd like to think that I'm the light in the dark room full of people who are just pretending to be something they're not in order to fit in. I've learned that I don't need to fit in because I've already got friends and family that support me no matter what. There's one best friend that has helped me get through my struggles for the past few years, and that's my lovely best friend, Jada Mackenzie Moore. I met her in grade seven when we were both in the same class in middle school, and we just had an instant connection, which was like no other. In eighth grade, I was still going to the same middle school, but then I started getting picked on by two girls. They were very rude to me and wouldn't leave me alone, and this went on for months on end. 
When Jada found out about this, she dedicated the song Titanium by David Guetta and Sia at her next singing event at the Cloverdale Rodeo in May 2014, winning first place. And now she's even has gone as far as writing a song just for me, and it honestly warms my heart a lot because she went through so much effort to make this night even more special. I'll be hearing it for the first time with all of you. I can't wait to hear it, and I hope you will all enjoy it as much as I do. Please welcome Jada now. this sold out so fast. <laughs> but I think I speak for him when I say that we're all very proud of this song and I'm so proud of Trinity that I wrote these lyrics with the original intention of them just being for her, but I think you'll find it relates to a lot of anyone's story or it it really expresses how you feel about somebody you do anything for. So here it is.
thank you so much, Reach, and their awesome program for helping me get to where I am today and for allowing me to share my experiences and story here with each and one of you tonight. I've always wanted to help and inspire people, so I'm very thankful for the opportunities and experiences that I've had for the last few years to, in order to fulfill my dreams and goals and also to accomplish them. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>